Plus 4.4 Set Default GL Account The purpose of we do Set Default GL Account so that when we do purchase or sales later for our stock item all the item will be going into the account that we already set into the default meaning all the sales the purchase will be go into the default account so to do default accounts we have to go to tools options and then under category here you have to choose category gl and under category gl you have to choose the first sub account there which is default accounts so under default accounts here you have to key in the account accordingly so for the first one is 500,000 for sales account so you choose 500,000 for sales the second one is cash sales so 500,000 you assign that the third one is sales return account sales return account 510 okay the fourth one is sales discount account is uh, 520 purchase account 610 purchase return account 612 purchase discount account 540 And the last one will be ER and AP Contra Temporary Account, which is 490. Okay. After you have done this part for task 4.4, I want you to stay at this page because for task 4.5, we are going to do at the same place. So if you look through task 4.5, you can see we need to set the auto generate item code format so to uh, set the auto generate item code format you have to go to the category of stock so you have to click on the stock category here and you have to choose the first sub account which is general stock setting so choose the first one and then you have to change the automatic generation of item code format so originally the system already provide you this format but if you want to change you can change according to the format of character that we already provide to you here so for this training we are going to use this format percentage g and then percentage d and after that dash and we only want to use three zero so here start number with one and then we have to set the default unit of measurement so the purpose of we do default unit of measurement so that every time we key in our stock the column of unit of measurement will be unique but if let's say your stock item have a different unit of measurement later on in the individually stock item maintenance you can actually change the unit of measurement that is not necessary you use the default so after you done all the setting you can just click ok to save